hello, hello, that's me. I like it really loud. It's because you're deaf. <laughs> yeah okay are you ready yeah okay welcome to our podcast wow welcome to the hot johnson the hot johnson how hot is the hot johnson so hot right now oh zoolander (laughs) so hot right now what was his name mustafa was that his name oh you're talking about will ferrell's character yeah i forget i can't remember i just remember his cute little dog So good. Yeah. So, hey, guys, welcome to our new podcast, The Hot Johnson. Yes. Um, I am Danae Johnson. He is Braun Johnson. Her brother. So you got two Johnsons, and we're going to have hot convos about everything health and wellness every week. Everything health and wellness about our journey through our own personal and spiritual growth. For you, definitely, your wellness journey mm-hmm. is a big part of the reason why you wanted to do this podcast. Yeah. Why don't why don't you why don't you lay it down nice and thick for us yeah. about <sighs> about why you actually wanted to do this podcast originally? Because like mm-hmm. overall, this is like your baby. Your mm. well, yeah, it's kind of funny. I've been talking about wanting to do a podcast for quite some time. Of course, I've been in radio and broadcasting for 20 years. It's what I've done all my life. Um, And, you know, I think as we evolve and as we grow as humans, your values start to shift a little bit. And as I've gotten older, I'm like, as cliche as it sounds, the most important thing in the world is to feel happy and to feel good. And I feel like I've been through a lot of challenges in my life uh, in my physical body and emotionally and thank thank the loud thank god i've done a decent amount of healing around all that stuff um and now i feel like i'm like i just want to help other people mm-hmm. uh, once again as cheesy and as cliche as it sounds i want i really truly want to help other people so for me this podcast is all about sharing the experiences that I have been through and I'm still going through with my physical health. You know, when I shared everything about my breast implant illness, if you've been following me on social media for a while, I shared I had breast implants for 16 years and I got very sick from them, you know? So it's like sharing those things publicly, you realize how many other people were all going through struggles, whether it's like mental, emotional, or physical. Right? Yeah, totally. And I love I love that you say that because for me, a big part of what I want to do on this podcast is just be really, really vulnerable in all the dialogue that we have together yeah. about our, like you said, our own journey, but also to just keep it really fucking real with the audience as well. Um, I envision us having people on the show to have like really, again, vulnerable dialogue about where they're at. Um, Obviously, you're you're going to school right now for counseling. You just got certified as a life coach. Yeah, I think that's the other thing. Top of her class. Hey, oh. So hot right now. Also, if you're listening to this right now, we are also filming these episodes. So if you want to see the ridiculousness of this, we are going to post these videos every week. Um, on YouTube. On YouTube. But that was one thing we didn't even mention. So both Braun and I, were, we're both life coaches. And yes, I'm in school for counseling right now. So that that is kind of, in my mind anyways, the goal and the intention of this podcast is to share the wisdom. Like I want to share the things I'm go- learning in school right now as I'm training to be a counselor. We're learning so much, you know, about trauma and the nervous system and just like all of that stuff. All of the shit. All of the, the shit. All of the shit. Um, and there's just like so much valuable information that I'm learning that I feel like, Hey, if I can save you a couple bucks and I can share some of the stuff that I'm learning, pass it on to you. That, that is, is my goal. And also to have some fun, like Braun and I, my brother and I, we often have these conversations when we're just hanging out (laughs) And there's been so many times where we're like, dude, we should just be recording this right now because it it literally feels like a podcast as we're talking. Every single time you and I get into a conversation, I have a vision in my head of us doing something like this, a podcast. I'm like, this this needs to be recorded, not for our not for our own like egoic fulfillment or anything like that, but because the conversations that we're having are like just really vulnerable and I could see other people really benefiting from them. That's the hope. That's the desire. That is our desire. So that's what the hot souls. Johnson is all about. And yeah. yeah, obviously the name of our show is a little bit tongue in cheek. We're silly, we're ridiculous, but we also get down and in the words of Brene Brown, rumble with vulnerability. We talk Ooh. we talk about real shit mm-hmm. all the time. 
um, because we're both so passionate about personal and spiritual growth. Yeah. And for me, like what I, again, yeah, what I want to do with this podcast is just to have so much fun with you while getting into our own past challenges and, and successes to just be real with people, but also to help them and to also share about like our current journey about what we're going through again, to keep it real. I believe the world needs more vulnerability, especially in the realm of personal and spiritual growth. Like there's so many, not to shit on any influencers out there, but I feel like, you know, you and I Mm -hmm. have been in a cult before too. And we, (laughs) we know what that's for another podcast. hundred percent. Yeah. We know what it's like to, to look up to people or to follow people, whether it be online or in person and have this like admiration or appreciation only to find out that the people behind the camera are like full of bullshit and fake gurus. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So I think that, you know, there's no such thing as people having all of their shit together, having it completely perfect. Every single human being on this planet is going on their own personal and spiritual growth journey. We want to share ours as we're going through it while simultaneously setting the intention to helping the people that tune into the show while having fun. Most deaf. And I think I love the thing I love about the conversations that you and I have is they are always like, there's a lot of depth and we're not afraid to dig into the deep shit, but we're also having fun with it. And I think that's part of, that's part of the thing when you're going on your like healing journey it can get so heavy. And like, I think all of us, we want to have some fun. We want to have some lightness in this life. So if we can approach healing, um, with a little bit of fun in the mix, like hopefully it can be a little bit more palatable and hopefully our life journeys can be a little bit lighter, Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. Right. Hey, what is it time for a hot shot? Oh, Oh damn! What's, okay. what's our what's our sound for that? Um. <laughs> okay, hot well, shot. So we are both weird and love hot sauce. Our the title of our show is called the Hot Johnson, and so I think we decided to have a little fun, keep things a little bit ritualistic. We're gonna play a game called the Hot Shot. Yeah. And at random times throughout the show, uh, one of us can <laughs> challenge another person to the hot shot. We both have two dice here. We're going to roll it. And whoever gets the highest, I got eight and I got eight. Roll, roll again, roll again, roll again, roll again. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Are you oh serious? my God. Three, four, S- six. <laughs> yeah, six. Math is not a yeah, strong suit. No. Okay. So now I got the highest. Now I get to roll both dice and the number. That I roll, she has to take that amount of shots okay. in her little we bitch We are the only people sauce. that I know who drink hot sauce out of the bottle. Yeah. If anybody else drinks hot sauce out of the bottle, like holla at us. I okay. I have people who like literally, like anyone who knows me really well knows that I'm a fucking freak for this shit. I'm weird like we that. We put though. it on everything. All right, tang. Okay, also, let's go. Also, there's a lot of swearing. Should we be um, just doing a little <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. Eight. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, I'm scared. To keeping it happy, healthy, and hot. Jazz. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> like a champion. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you. That's fucking disgusting. You know what? Okay. Oh, that was the eighth. I like I like that because she actually just took seven. I was gonna let her have that one, but she went in for the eighth. Good job, Danae. Oh, I thought I did one extra one. I Is thought. my math off again? Again. Damn. Too bad I'm not smart. <laughs> okay. So now my any... mouth is watering. Yeah, of course. Ooh. Good job. That was that was actually delicious. You liked that. I actually love that. But here's the thing, Frank's isn't hot. It's vinegary with a little spice. For you, it's hot. It's a little spicy. If you guys have a hot sauce you think that we should try and do this with, let us know. Yeah, nothing like three million Scovilles, please. <laughs> okay, do you know okay. what a Scoville is? Isn't that like the hot level? Yes. Hot meter? Yes, yeah. it's the hot meter. It's the way they measure <clears throat> spice. Word. Yes. Word. Yes. Is there anything else that you want to say as far as our intro <sighs> go? Um, we're going to also do at the end of each podcast, we're going to have a little segment that is called the hot offer. Right? Why don't you describe what the hot offer yeah, is? Yeah, I think every week um, 
depending on what we are talking about, we are going to kind of summarize the conversation by offering something to you that hopefully you can walk away with, whether that's just something to think about, something to ponder. Maybe it's a little journal entry. Maybe it's a, an exercise, but just something that we are talking about in the show, extending that to you, hopefully a tool that you can walk away with to apply to your life. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So are we ready to, to dig into the hot offer? Yeah, what's the hot offer? For me, the hot offer this week would be... <sighs> <sighs> Um, this podcast has been something that I have wanted to do for years and stepping into the space of being a helper, helping people through life coaching. Um, not going to cry. Yes, you are. <laughs> Will I cry every episode? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, to stepping into the, the helping space, going to school for counseling. Now, this is something that I have resisted doing for so long because I was afraid. I was scared. And I just want to extend that to you. What is the thing in your life right now that you are holding yourself back from doing? Why are you not doing it? And, you know, I'll speak specifically to this podcast. I think so many of us struggle with this perfectionism mentality. And there are so many freaking things in my life that I have stopped myself from doing because I'm like, uh, I don't have this or I'm not ready or I'm not trained in this. It's like this feeling of never being enough, never being good enough, never being ready. And you just got to do it. So my invitation, my hot offer to you is to think about what is that thing in your life that you really want? And what is one little step? Because so, I think so often you look at the big picture, you look at the end goal, you look at people who are already doing that and succeeding and killing it in that thing. And it's intimidating because you're comparing your beginner self to the experts. And then it's just overwhelming and you don't want to do it. So you just got to take one small step after the other. So my invitation to you is what is one small step you could take this week that would get you closer to that thing in life that you want, girl? Hell yeah. You. Yeah. And I want I want to see it in the comments. Get fucking vulnerable with us and share your shit in the comments. We we want to hear that. We want to talk to you. We want to have conversations with you. We want to we want to hear where you're at cuz that's what this is all about is yeah. having a space for people to get real raw and honest about what it is that they really want. And they're holding themselves back either because of your perfectionism. I also am a, still a recovering perfectionist yeah. um, and or constantly comparing yourself to others about where you're at compared to where they're at. What are you holding yourself back from starting to do now, taking the next step? We want to hear that. Yeah. Give it to us. Yes, BB. Um, what else? I feel like that's, that's it, it for today. Yeah. yeah, we just wanted to come on, say hi, let you guys know what we're doing. And um, that's that. Keeping it. Keeping, keeping it, it real. Keeping yeah. It real. Let us know if you guys want us to talk about anything, want us to cover anything on any episodes. Ultimately, this is our act of service to you, to the world. So Absolutely. let us know if you're struggling with something. Hell yeah. Boom. Can't wait to see you in the comments. Hot Johnson out. Hot Johnson out. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? You like that little music? I don't know. I feel like we can get down. Hey, 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 hey. I think we can find some better music. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>